My name is Walter. I'm the credit card maestro. I talk about travel, credit, credit card points, and using those to book your travel. Today we're flying on Delta One Suites. I am so excited. Let's get right into this video. Make sure you subscribe if you found this video helpful. Good morning. Just made it through security. I'm on my way back to Atlanta. I'm coming from Amsterdam. That's where I'm at right now. So we're gonna go from Amsterdam to Detroit to Atlanta. Flight time from Amsterdam to Detroit should be about eight and a half hours. And this is exciting. We're flying on Delta One. So we're gonna come along and see how Delta One looks. As you guys can see right here, I'm extremely excited. I have my best casual airport outfit. Yes, I do believe when you're traveling, you got yourself a little nice airport outfit. I was extremely excited for this flight. Here's my flight today. I'm flying on an A350. As you can see, the sun is rising in Amsterdam. My flight is being prepared with food. I am so excited to get on this flight as time gets closer and closer. This is my first time flying on Delta One Suite, so I'm walking through the jet bridge. I'm extremely excited to see what they offer food and comfort wise on Delta One. We are gonna be in Delta One, seat 1C. We're gonna do this review, see if it's worth it doing an eight hour flight. We did main cabin coming here and the seats were kind of uncomfortable on Delta. So hopefully Delta One's a lot better. And it should be. It's Delta One. So let's go on. And of course, it's my first flight. You gotta give the plane a love tap. It's good luck. And on the A350, there is a one two, one configuration for the Delta One Suites. I was in the middle on the right side. And here is my first look at the Delta One Suite. I'm blown away by how big this is. I'm a small person, so this is gonna do me really good for this flight. Look at how comfortable this seat just looks. I cannot wait to show you guys and tell you guys how comfortable it was. And here are some of the amenities as well. I'm gonna talk about those very soon. And we have some headphones back there with an outlet for my devices, some Delta One brochures for my food and for my beverages, and some controls for my seat. And this entertainment system is huge. Let me know down below in the comments how you feel so far about the Delta One suites. I'm about 5'7", so this gives me so much more space than premium or main cabin. Before you take off, you do get a beverage of choice. I chose champagne. Cheers to you. Let's get the flying. Now, I personally keep a bunch of electronics with me for my vlogs for you guys. So I do have a lot of things with me. I really appreciated this space down below with Delta One Suites. Gave me a lot of space for my electronics. For a long eight hour flight, you have to be what? Comfortable. So shout out to Delta for these Delta slippers. I'll be putting these on very soon to get nice and cozy. Delta's packaging is always top notch. This is an amenity kit with a collaboration from someone somewhere. I'll be showing you guys what's inside of here very soon. Here's a quick look at the menu for you guys. If you are interested in reading it, you can obviously just pause if you want to see exactly on everything Delta had for this flight from Amsterdam to Detroit. But so far, so good. The drinks are great. The flight attendants are nice. The service is good. Makes me feel really special. The amenities are awesome. I'm really excited at this point to show you guys how this eight hour flight is possibly gonna make me feel like it's a four hour flight. Very excited to try this food out too. Cheers. Now this is my first flight, so I asked the flight attendant for one more departure drink. Cheers, another champagne, let's get it. If you're flying next to someone you don't know, or you just want some privacy, you can close this barrier right here and give yourself some more privacy to enjoy your flight even more. Now, I normally use my own accessories for my flights, but I'm definitely gonna use them headphones, but if you look a little bit to your left next to those Delta One headphones, you'll see a bottle of water that I highly recommend you use. You gotta stay hydrated for these long flights. It is really important. And as you can see right here is a remote. You can kind of figure that out for all your accessories. You can call for help if you need to. Now, I didn't use this remote much on this flight, but you can pop this out, ask for some assistance, and dim your lights if you want to. It's really good to have, just in case you need it. Now, these Delta slippers are really nice. I put these on ASAP. I love to feel comfortable when I'm flying very long flights like this one. These are not any more comfortable than your normal slippers that you'll buy at a store. They just have Delta branded, you know, logo on there. And I'll definitely be using these for my hotel stays when walking through the hotel. So far, everything is amazing. This is definitely an upgrade from being in premium select or the main cabin. Like I just said, it is definitely an upgrade. You see the difference right away when you go from main cabin to premium select to Delta One. So let's open up this amenity kit from someone somewhere. We're gonna go ahead and see what is in this amenity kit. 
as you can see right here, we have a nice eye mask that you can use if you have any light issues to get some sleep or if you don't want light bothering you at all. And inside this nice black pouch, you do have a couple things. You do have this nice hand cream that you can use for your hands to keep yourself moisturized. But there's also a couple more things in here. You also do get a lip balm. I'm big on lip balms, especially when traveling. You want to make sure you're hydrated and nice and moisturized, and this is one way to do so. Now this is missed out a lot on flights, but I would love to have a pin every flight. So you get a nice little Delta pin right there. And of course you get your toothbrush and toothpaste if you want to stay clean during your flight with your teeth. All right, so the crew just told us it is almost time to take off. So as you can see right here, I am putting on my seatbelt. I'm extremely excited. I also had just got asked what I want to eat. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, we're buckled in, we're about to take off. They just asked me what I want to eat. I got an omelet with spinach. So I'm excited to try that because I'm starving. See you soon. Now this is no advertisement from Delta. I am not employed by Delta, but I am checking out the entertainment system right here. And what I would suggest you guys do the next time you're on a Delta flight, go over to the movies and scroll all the way over. If you have not watched this movie yet, I want you guys to try out The Steepest Climb. Again, The Steepest Climb. It is a movie that Delta had a major part in creating. And what this movie shows you, it's about an hour movie. It just shows you how well Delta Airlines maneuvered for their employees and for their company during the pandemic. I honestly think that Delta did the best job for their employees out of all of the U.S. airlines during the pandemic. There was no mention of layoffs or anything. And it just really showed you how bad the airline industry was doing, but how well Delta was able to maintain everything and keep their employees and earn their trust. Inside of this big packaging here, you have some Delta One bedding. So when you're ready to take it down on this long flight and get some rest, you do so in Delta One Suite style. Cannot wait to open it up and take a nap. It's not working. Time for the safety instructions, my favorite part. Let's see what Delta got going on today. One of my favorite parts about flying with Delta is their safety flight instructions. They make those things like a movie. Maybe one day Delta will throw me in there and make me a part of the movie. Just saying, Delta, if you're watching this video, I am a golden medallion like the gentleman was in this video. Just putting that out there. But Delta does a really good job making these things entertaining. So you actually watch them as opposed to just closing your eyes and overlooking them. They are important to watch. After we took off, the flight attendants unlocked our doors from the front, and it was very easy to get some privacy. Absolutely loved it. No complaints here. So, the privacy, the privacy is amazing, as you guys can see. Just love it. And, um, you know, whenever I'm ready to talk and get a drink i'll just open it back up but the privacy here is amazing and yes i had to grab those relax and unwind delta one premium headsets they're delta studio premium headsets so yes i had to open them up you just plug them into the back where the outlets are and uh, you should get a really nice noise cancellation experience i was really excited to open these up and start watching my favorite movie of all time and before service the flight attendants do come around and give you a hot tile again this was my first time these are very hot as soon as you get these so just keep that in mind <laughs> they are very hot but you use them to kind of just you know do that for your hands get yourself prepared for the meal and uh yeah this is my first time getting a hot towel and uh, smells really good probably has some nice oils in there of some type of nature and I'm just very 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 excited to get my meal from delta see what they had in store for me so yeah i cleaned my hands and i was ready to go and like I said before, I'm extremely excited to try out these noise cancellation Delta Your Premium headsets. So these Delta Your Premium headsets are really unique. They actually have an L and R. L stands for left, R stands for right. So just match them up to your head, put them things on, and then you take the uh, wire and you plug them in towards the back, right where the all the other outlets are. And uh, yeah, you get ready to enjoy either your favorite series, music, or your favorite movies. Couldn't wait to get this in. One thing I always love to do when I'm flying is I love to see my flight route. So this is the A350-900. So of course I'm clicking on the flight tracker right here. And what this does on Delta is it gives you a map of where you are and where you're going. 
and as you can see i'm all the way in amsterdam so i'm in europe and i'm flying all the way over the atlantic ocean and i'm headed to detroit and we have about eight hours and some change to get there my trade table is officially open and i am ready for my first meal of this flight before i take me a good nap the good part about delta one is that the flight attendants actually serve you so they lay your tray napkin down they put your drinks on the table they do all that good stuff. So I didn't have to do any of that. Just pull up my tray table. They lay the napkins down. They're very nice. The first meal I had was some hot nuts. And I had my choice of drink, which again, I'm a bourbon guy. So I had me some, um, I'm a bourbon whiskey guy. So I had me some Jack Daniels. So of course, cheers to that. So yeah, I'm enjoying my first drink, some Jack Daniels. And I'm watching my flight. Again, I'm big on knowing where I am. Just, you know, why not? But then I decide to go over and watch my favorite new movie of all time. And I am big on comedy, so I'm a comedy person. To me, there is nothing like watching The Wedding Crashers with some liquor, just having a good time, enjoying the movie. Life is simple at that point. Life is great. All right, so my first meal was served. I had myself an omelet with spinach, some tomatoes, a sausage, some fruits, vegetables, and a croissant. And I can tell you right now, this meal was great. Airplane food has a really bad tendency of being nasty. Not on this flight. This flight was definitely some good food. Tastes like an omelet I buy at the restaurant. A croissant was really good. I love me some potatoes and some fruit. It was really good and had no issues here. That meal was finished quickly and it was time for me to get my nap. That was probably going to be the longest nap of the flight. And I was ready. I had the itis. Food was good. I was watching the Red and Crashers. And I had me a drink. Or two or three. So I was very happy. Thank you. No, thank you. Before I decided to take my nap, I wanted to open this up for you guys and show you what's in this CoZZZ Delta One pouch. And you do have in here a Delta One pillow. And again, guys, you cannot take these off the flight, so please keep these on a the flight after you've landed. And also a Delta One blanket that you can use to take a nap. Now, this was not done for us from the flight attendants. You do make your own bed when you are ready to lay down, if you do want to lay down. But... It's just a pillow and a blanket, so I wouldn't expect anybody else to do this for me. Even on another airline, I do this for myself. Now, I am not picky by any means. If I gotta fly basic, main, comfort plus, premium select, or delta one, I will do so. Which I flew main cabin from Detroit to Amsterdam. But I want to show you guys, you know, just kind of give you a little look on how they look from my flight. And everything was pretty chill. Everything was pretty cool. This was an early flight, so mostly everyone was asleep. Now at this point, after walking around a little bit, I didn't want to use my amenities from someone somewhere. So I put on my eye mask from Delta and uh, I took a nap. And I also reclined that seat a little back a little bit, all the way down to as much as it can go down. And I went to sleep for a couple hours. So I'm not sure how many hours it was at this point, but I feel like I did sleep a very long duration of the flight. When I woke up from my nap, I only had about an hour and 13 minutes left. I was flying over Canada, I think it was Toronto, and I opted for the chicken, but they only had a salad left. So I tried it out. Now I'm not really a salad person, but I wanted to try it out for you guys. It's really good, but I just don't feel like salad fills me up as much. The red wine was really good though. After the salad, I did have a choice for dessert. I did have myself a pie and also a sundae. The pie was not too good to me. So I did really love the sundae. I had me a sundae with some strawberries and some chocolate. I'm not too sure the flight attendant did say they put their own little special touches on there based off of their experience, which I appreciated. The sundae was amazing. And at that point, honestly, it was really time for me to land. This eight hour flight really felt so much quicker than eight hours. Before you know it, I landed in Detroit on my flight, ready to get to Atlanta. And I'll tell you this, I would easily do this eight hour flight and I would double it to 16 hours. That's how nice these seats, the service and the food was and just the entire Delta One experience. Eight hours felt like two hours versus if you flew the same flight in main cabin, it would feel like a very long time. I definitely advise you guys to try Delta One if it's in your means.
all right guys so i just landed in detroit as you guys saw i have global entry guys make sure you get global entry the line is much longer <laughs> if you don't it took me literally 47 seconds to go through global entry there was no passport required or anything it was just my face that was it speaking of face after i land i use some type of refresher this is not a sponsor or anything like that just to kind of it's just water um so either evian or rose water i'm going to put on both really fast and here's the rose water i just put it in a smaller container because it wouldn't have passed uh tsa if i didn't i feel like if your insides have to be hydrated so does your outside so it's not necessary but i use this to kind of wake me up and to hydrate my face after a long flight so the real question is delta one worth it yes a million percent a million not a hundred percent a million percent it took my flight going there which was only about six and a half hours or seven hours from how much time do i have left in main cabin and on delta one it was why do i not have enough time why do we not have more time that's what the delta one experience that on this flight from the flight attendants to the captains to the accessories to the bedding everything was top notch maestro approved for sure if you have a chance to fly delta one on any flight i would say give it a try you will never want to go back maybe premium select but give it a try so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll be doing more videos if you guys want to see premium select if you want to see main cabin just as a comparison let me know Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And guys, talk, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be safe.